stand of Toy Fair at Olympia. Um, we have got a huge stand where we're featuring all of our new products of 2020. Um, so that's Hornby, Skeletric, Airfix, Hornby, um, Warlord. We've actually got a um, brand new stand for Steampunk as well. So it's the first key trade show of the year um, where we get to see all of our national buyers um, who are interested in the brands and um, placing orders. So here we've got all of our centenary products, um, starting off with the tin plate loco at the top which relates back to the 1920s. Um, it goes down in era order, so we then go into the 1930s where we've got the Snyder Grissy, Hornby double O train set. Um, everything relates back to the era in terms of sort of look and feel, so the packaging is unique to, to when it came out originally. Um, we've got our Duchess of Athel which has been incredibly popular. We haven't introduced a die cast body in over 50 years, so that's been extremely um, well sold. Um, and then we've got a range of die cast vehicles as well. The Rocket has definitely been one of the, the biggest sellers, so this is our limited edition model and then we've also got a, a main range model too, so the Loco um, and coaches are almost exactly the same. Um, we have the Evening Star, uh, which comes with a nameplate and then we've got various other products going all the way down to our very best train set. And so if, if you like, this is the first day of the, of, of the next 100 years, isn't it? Um, yeah, no, it's, it, uh, the, the thing is, I'm always excited about toy fairs. Uh, it doesn't matter necessarily whether it's 100 years or not, but um, I just think it's great. You meet people you've, you've known for a good number of years. You only meet them once a year and you meet them here. Uh, and it's the usual conversation, how are you, how are you doing, how's the family? And, you know, it goes from, oh yeah, they're two years old now to, oh no, they're married and they've got, you know, three ch children. So it, it, it is it is a uh, a bit of a social thing as well. And you had good response to. to We've had a brilliant response, uh, but it, it's not just Hornby and the hundred year products. It's right across the range. You know, we've got some really exciting products in Corgi scale extra, especially you know with with Back to the Future, you know the DeLorean, uh, uh, the Fools and Horses. So we've got a lot lot there, Airfix, yeah, you know, Vulcan and so on. So great, even even down to um, some new paint pots in Humbrol. So there's a lot, a lot kicking off uh, in, in really all the brands. And I would like to say we have a really strong Beatles uh, range now, not just with um, Magical Mystery Tour, but with the Beatles Yellow Submarine set and pack and coaches. So yeah, I think it ticks a lot of boxes at the moment, yeah. yeah so this show is um, key um, for sets, so a lot of our national customers are, are mainly interested in buying Hornby sets, so we've got Sunset Express, we've got the Highland Rambler, um, Industrial Freight, all the way through to our new Flying Scotsman set, um, which is new packaging, contents are exactly the same, um, obviously it's got a nice look and feel, um, very bold and eye-catching. Joker spark plug set. So the really cool thing about this is it comes with two dongles instead of two hand controllers which you can connect to your smart device and then you can pick your character. So you can pick Batman, Joker or if you wanted you've got Harley Quinn, Robin, Nightwing, Penguin. So all those characters you can choose from and then you control your speed through your smart device and then you've got the ability to boost yourself, restrict your opponent or you can smash them off the track. So the idea is there's added gameplay in the app. So you get 10 lives and every time you come off the track you lose a life and then the first person to lose all their lives loses the race. So it's very different to the normal Skelet Strip where it's like first to ten laps and kind of that kind of thing. So this is, I think this is a really exciting set, plus the cars are really, really cool. So we've got our new Pro Platinum set here as well. So this is the, the ultimate bells and whistles set of Skelet Strip. So it has four cars in it. It's got digital racing, so you've got like your lane changing, it's Art Pro technology. So this is a very much absolutely everything that you could want from a Skelet Strip set in one box basically, which is really cool. We've got a really cool film and TV range this year, so that includes these Only Fools and Horses cars here. And yes, this does race on a Skelet Strip track really well. Um, surprisingly, it doesn't go around the bends as well as maybe a four-wheel car does, but it's still really cool to, to, to try and race. 
probably not going to compete with the motorsport cars though, let's be real. Um, and then we've got James Bond film coming out this year, so we've, we've got the two cars that are in that film there, with the Italian license plate as well. And then the coolest car, obviously, ever is this uh, DeLorean time machine. Um, if you can get it to 88 miles per hour, it does actually go back in time, so I'll leave that to you to, to test that. We've got my first scale electric here which is the entry level into Scale Electric. Um, this year we're introducing a battery operated set. So if you wanted to, you can take this on the train with you if you're going on holiday or whatever. So this is really, really portable, which is really cool. And then moving into Micro Scale Electric. So these all work together, so you can buy one, you can buy two, and then you can merge them all together. But this one here, you've got really cool sets of cars. So you've got, I'll show you these. You've got a Batman and Joker set here, so you've got mini versions of the 30 second scale cars that you saw. You've got a little tumbler there which is really cool. And then you've got Ryan as well. So Ryan is a huge YouTube sensation. Um, he's absolutely massive with kids. So we've got this set here which includes a police car and Ryan's little getaway vehicle as well which is really cool. And finally in the micro sketch we've got James Bond which is this little box here. So this comes with the good car and the bad car. So instead of two Aston Martins, we've got an Aston Martin and a Jaguar there, so you can actually have a proper race, which is really cool. Um, two different categories on this uh, stand. We've got uh, Airfix itself, uh, but we've also got this quick build area here. So uh, these have the, uh, been the best sellers that we've had the last couple of years in quick build. You know, the VW camper van, the classic, and of course the Spitfire. Can't be Airfix without a Spitfire, can we? So uh, they've, they've been really strong. Um, what we've learned from this range is that we can do much more with it. Um, we've had a much higher demand on cars, so we're introducing a lot more cars this year. Um, the I-Pace is the first one that's out, so this one is a, a complete one, as you can see. So it's all built by bricks. It's fabulous. Um, when we launch that, which is in a, in a couple of weeks' time, we'll actually be launching it in this new style box as well, which has got a much more sort of gaming feel to it stronger graphics, all suited to um, the age group we're trying to sell it to, uh, which is sort of uh, early teens, late sort of uh, tens sort of age, but we know the younger child will also go into that as well. We've improved the, the information on the pack, we've shown a, a diagram of um, the actual size of the vehicles, so because one of the things we've learned from this is people don't actually realise how big these are when they're actually built. What we've learned from this is that um, some youngsters are struggling to, to build this uh, particular version. Once they get past the first part, they're, they're away and they're fine. Um, what we want to do is actually introduce a, a, um, another version here, which is a simpler to build version. Um, but you, as you can see, it actually looks like the same thing as what uh, the current starter set is, but that is a much easier build for youngsters to build. And then, because the airplanes are supposed to fly, they look much you know, more exciting in flight than they do sitting on their wheels. Um, what we're actually doing is enabling the youngster to also put it on a, on a stand, which has got this sort of shadow effect. So in that set, you'll have um, the kit itself, the, the, uh, the stand, uh, three paints, the glue and the, uh, the brush, as, uh, as the stuff set is. Um, so there's still painting involved and decals as well. Um, so you still have that skill to, to learn and, and um, actually understand to, to continue the hobby. Uh, but we had to get to that stage much easier without the, so, some of the frustrations that the current more sophisticated model has. Traditional classic Airfix um, uh, category. The Vulcan we uh, launched at Telford back in November, been um, fantastically received. We started to take orders on that. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just such a well-known aircraft, you know, it's a unique shape, etc. You know, people know what it is. Uh, the Beaufort is going to be really, really strong and probably in volume terms, 
uh, very similar to what the Vulcan uh, is, maybe even better ultimately, because it's just a great modeler's kit. There's so many interesting parts on it to build. It's not been done before. Uh, so yeah, we're already seeing some strong orders coming through on the initial one since we launched it. Uh, Sabre is another new one that's coming through at the end of the year. The other 48 scale early Cold War fighter. Again, mass market appeal across, across the world. Um, we're doing the Canada Air version first, which is flown by the RF, but also by the Canadian Air Force as well. So again, it's stretching the brand beyond the UK shores. So that's always a good thing to do. Toy Fair last year actually, and uh, it became available in the summer, and it's done some really, really fantastic numbers for us. It's a great way of um, getting youngsters of three plus into the Corgi brand. You know, the, the, the quality is fantastic. As you can see, we've got awards all over where it's been winning awards from various um, uh, places, of, you know, throughout uh, 2019. So we're really sort of hyping that up. Uh, and then to the other end of the scale on Corgi, we've got the, uh, the various collectors' ranges. Uh, Aviation is still our biggest sort of collecting uh, range uh, category. We've got some brilliant uh, models coming there. Uh, the, the Iron Deco, which is, was originally planned for last year, um, it's taken a bit longer to produce because the rigging has been quite a challenge for the uh, manufacturer. We're, we're almost there now, so that's the first one that will be out in the spring. Frisco Fighter will be the other new tool for this year. A whole raft of Vanguard uh, products coming through. Uh, we've got the Jags and Damers, which are new for this year. Again, delayed from last. Uh, we've got an Escort Mark IV. Uh, lots of people uh, will remember that as um, their uh, first car, or maybe their first high performance car in their youth. Doing camper vans, of course, you can never have too many camper vans, and uh, the Corgi uh, tooling has got a bit tired and a bit restricted what we can do, so we're uh, going to be introducing two new camper vans the Splitty, Type 2 Splitty, and then also the Bay version as well. Uh, and we're also doing a TR6 as well as a, as a new tool, so that's the highlights for that. Um, we're extending the, uh, the tank range a little bit as well. Uh, but the big news in the tanks in the small scale is that uh, we've actually linked in with World of Tanks, which are the, uh, the, the massive uh, online game uh, of which there are millions of players all around the world, um, particularly in markets that maybe Corgi is not so well known. Uh, so we're going to use that license again to take the Corgi brand into, into new um, uh, territories and new uh, users and make it a collectible and sort of toy-esque kind of range through that route.